everyone, Walsh21 here and welcome to another video. So in this box, I have a cheap alternative to these um, cheap systems that you see on uh, Amazon, eBay, all that lot, uh, designed for microsystems. This is a microsystem in here and it cost me a fractured price. Normally, you, on those microsystems, they're anywhere between 200 and I've seen them go as much as 500 pounds or dollars, uh, it seems to be like exactly the same price, dollars or pounds. This is a Dell 3040. And being as it's a Dell 3040, it's a used system, and it was 80 pound for me. You can get these cheap tails, they're quite simple. I've already had this open, I just realized I didn't put the power supply back in here, but I did come with a power supply. But this one also come with an antenna for Wi-Fi. And then let's just get this out and we'll move the actual box away. Most of the packaging I've already removed, as you can tell, I just kind of put it all in here briefly. So still wrapped in this sort of like foamy stuff. I want to say just for delivery. And like I said, there's a bit more of it there. It did come in polystyrene broken up polystyrene because like I said this is a used system but I bought this for £80 just make sure there's no nothing on it and there it is so we have a Dell um, 3040 micro you can get the 3050s which have the 7th gen CPU this has got a i5 which hopefully the camera can focus in on that this is an i5 uh, in this one. I'll leave down below exactly what i5 it is. The camera's not focusing. And um, the 3050s come with the 7th gen. So this technically can't run Windows 7. There's a workaround, as I've shown in another video. But for what I want to do, I don't need Windows 11. Windows 10 is perfectly fine. Let's just open her up. So we'll take the front screw off the back. And actually talking about the back, we haven't even gone across uh, what's on this. So we've got HDMI, got display port. We've got two USB, I believe 3.0 ports, two USB 2.0 ports, a ethernet cable, a VGA, and that's a Kenston lock. And then at the far end here, you can see the Wi-Fi antenna where it screws into. So let's just actually get in here and then we'll do a bit of testing. This was a bit, I have had this open before and I know this was a rather fiddly. I think, the old, yeah, there we go. So the old thing slides forward and then we can just lift that up and forward. There we go. And then at the back here, you'll see the VGA card, which is an added extra for the VGA day that is included in this one. We have a, I believe, 120 gigabyte SSD, 128 gigabyte SSD, and that is a SanDisk SSD. So let's just pull that out very briefly. Do that by squeezing these, pull that out, so that's out. So hopefully the camera can focus on that, otherwise I'll take a quick photograph and I'll overlay it. So that's 120 gigabyte SSD. We've got a Wi-Fi card there. Again, camera focus. I do apologize, I don't have autofocus on. And then underneath uh, this here, I'm not gonna take, I could take this bit off, I suppose, the fan. Right, I didn't really need to cut, so I've now loosened that up, and then the whole thing comes forward. So the, I'm not gonna unplug that. So this has eight gigabyte of RAM uh, by there which I was a bit surprised because these come in four gigabyte variants. So when I seen it was eight gig, I was expecting it to be two dim slots. But as you could tell by here, again, I will take a photograph of this because it's not gonna show up properly. But this is a eight gigabyte uh, stick. So again, I'll, I'll take a photograph and overlay it there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy another one, pretty much identical to this to upgrade this. If you want to see an upgrade video, let me know down below and I'll do a upgrade video. But most of the time these come with a hard drive, mechanical hard drive, four gigabytes uh, there. And even with the i5, which is in this one, um, 
it comes with those variants. So I'm quite happy with this. I believe I got good deal, 80 pounds. So what I'm now gonna do is, I'm gonna put all this lot together, take those photographs that I said I was gonna take, and then we'll get on the computer and do a quick sort of benchmark test just to see what you're getting for your money. So we've got some Sydney Bench R23 here. I'm not really doing it for the benchmark. I'm more looking at the temperatures on the right hand side of the screen here. I'll uh, highlight them now after this uh, audio. But you can see it's at 69 there at the maximum. There's no thermal throttling happening. And in a second, it will peak to 70. There it is, 70 degrees, and that is a peak. And that's pretty good temperatures for a little mini system like this. As you can see this, it's 547 and 70 with no thermal throttling. Next, we're gonna have a look at some video encoding. And um, we've got Jellyfish uh, 140 megabytes 4K uh, HVAC 10 bit. As you can see, it didn't run the HVAC 10 bit there, but the 140 megabits Ultra HD here, which I'm about to run, as you can see, runs smoothly, no, nothing there, and it looked absolutely fantastic. Unfortunately, when I did the recording of this, um, my OBS set into rubbish, so this might not look great to you, but it looked fantastic when I was looking at it, and brilliant. Now, if you want a HVAC, uh, you can go down to the 100 megabytes here, and it works pretty spot on, as you can see there. It's something about the 4K HVAC 10 bit that it just didn't like. So if you want to do that, then maybe look at a different system to this uh, little 3040. But otherwise, everything ran really smoothly and it was uh, absolutely beautiful. Here we got a bit of gaming here. So these are some from the Microsoft Store. Um, this one, I can't remember what it's actually called. I'll put it down below in the, the section down below. But it ran so smooth uh, on the actual computer. Again, this recording is uh, from another uh, computer going over OBS. And in fact, I'm watching the recording now and it does look quite smooth uh, to me here. Uh, so gaming on this is fantastic for like low end games. Uh, don't expect to do any high end games like installing Battlefield or Call of Duty or anything like that. It won't handle that. If you want me to do a bit more gaming on this uh, to do a few more in-depth testing, let me know um, and I'll be more than happy to do that. By the way, these games on here this is the first time I've ever played them. I didn't know what I was doing. So that that's that one game. And we're about to jump into another game by here uh, any second. Uh, here we go. So this one was... Uh, I quite enjoyed this actually. I might actually play this a bit more. Uh, again, I'll leave the name down below what it was. Mid game tutorial, which I thought was a bit strange, but there. Um, but so that's why I've just cut that little bit out there uh, so you can see it. But as you can see, this is a quite a fast paced game here and it ran quite smooth. I was uh, surprised at how uh, smooth this ran. Uh, I believe it was designed originally for a mobile phone, so I suppose that may have something to do with it. And um, but otherwise, yeah, this runs so. Should you buy this system? It all depends what you want to do, really. Do you want a little um, office system? Then great, yeah, you, you can have this a little office. You could, it could do a little bit of gaming. What I'm intending to do with it, as I previously said, is use it as a Plex server. So if you want to use uh, make some a little server or a little portable system, this might be great. Um, anyway, yeah, so I'll just the end of video here anything else you want me to see to do with this video leave it down below and um, Give me a thumbs up and whatnot. Let me know what you want to see with the system and I'll catch you all in the next one. Well uh, before I forget Thank you all to my patreon subscribers. Ciao for now everyone